it's like everything. It's like you think you're seeing things, but what you're doing is the light is going into your eyes and your eyes are interpreting, yeah, your brain totally. is interpreting what you're seeing rather than you're seeing. Yeah. It's not the same thing. Yeah. And so at night when there's no light at all and we see it as darkness, that is actually the reality. The reality is what everything is, is when it's pitch black. That's the reality there is of, no black. well, you know, what we call black, darkness. No light is the reality of what we see. All and light. then when we see light, the interpretation of our brains say that is what that thing is. It's, I was trying to explain it to Tara once in the car. We're talking about reality. We'll do another episode because I need to do my research. <laughs> I, I trying need to, explain to do to my Tara research. In the car. I said to her, <laughs> I, I know it started off with, hey, Tara, see that car I'm... in front of us? That car in front of us is not actually, not actually there. <laughs> He got so <laughs> heated. Got so heated. The conversation. I found out the hard way. The car in front of us was actually there. But you said I can't exchange uh, insurance details because they don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like, I haven't got insurance. I just got me some money. <laughs> anyway, so the the upshot is we'll talk about the nature of reality when I when I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I look forward to that episode. But the phrase, with the, without the perceiver, there is not the perceived. If you get rid of the C, you get rid of the scene. So, yes. so does that mean that that's the, the Ramana Maharshi is not real? Shout at me. <laughs> that's what it means. If I go and look at the Ramana Maharshi and I see him, yeah. but without the seer, there is no scene. So if no one's looking at the Ramana Maharshi, he doesn't exist. And the same applies to me and you. Because we are, you, without the seer, there is not, the, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you don't I know d- what you're saying. <laughs> it's all very confusing, isn't it? Let's it is, be honest. But that, but that is the hard, like that is the proper hard end of all this. Without the seer, there isn't the scene. Is is the real kind of cold face of this stuff, right? You go, that's right out there. Because ultimately, what we're saying is we are all one thing, and this manifestation is, you know, the form is formless, formless is form, and all that stuff. Emptiness mm. is form, form is emptiness. Basically, it is all just a way of us making subjects and objects when it's all one thing. So we're understanding the world, we're compartmentalising the world in a way that it actually isn't. What it actually is, is one thing. Mm. I'm just (laughs) genuine. I'm angry. I'm genuine. I've only had one banana, as I stated earlier. (laughs) And... And I'm actually looking at what's left of the banana thinking, I wonder if I could drag my teeth along that skin and get a bit more out of it. And, I'm, and I took the opportunity to do it quietly as you were speaking. And I'm not sure I listened to everything you said. That's because right. because I had to do it off mic. Because yeah. I didn't want you hearing. And actually, I'll do it on mic. You don't hear much. Not, well, you do a bit, right? So well, that's, we've learned something there, haven't we? Well, it's that you don't really listen. But I can't listen fine. to it all. Neil, if I, I, I can't listen to everything you say. <laughs> there is, just isn't enough storage. You know, storage. that's what a conversation There's not enough is. storage space in the, in the room I've got in my brain that says things Neil has told me. <laughs> I'm going to have to do a clear out first before I can put anything in that, in that space. Could you call it Neil's wisdom when you do it? Neil's wisdom. I've got a room in my brain called Neil's wisdom. <laughs> yeah. It's in the mansion I call my brain and it's not even a box room. <laughs> <laughs> it's a small box that my brain bought from Ikea. <laughs> you buried in the garden. Wrapped in, wrapped in sellotape. And it says on the thing, do not open <laughs> circumstances. <laughs> oh. But he, he didn't say anything. He, you have to be close to him. They, they, they make the point that he didn't say much, so to get anything from you, you had to be close to him, which does beg the question, how does that help us? What is the point of talking about this man if you have to be near him to get the lesson? Because he's not saying much, and everyone said, once you sat with him, wow. And you go, okay, fine. But he's not alive anymore, so how does that help me and you? They and everyone have, listened they have to this. passed on his teachings. Like, we are talking about his teachings. And he, well, didn't, he didn't set out. He wasn't setting out to do that thing. He's just existing. He didn't... He wasn't you can't have it both ways. Me. You can't say he, he's, he's... You can't have a school of Ramana Maharshi, but at the same time hear his teachings. Yeah, but he Which said one he, is it? He said there isn't a school of Ramana Maharshi. He said we're all Ramana Maharshi. Right, so if there's no school of Ramana Maharshi, yeah. well, then so, there's no teachings, is well, there? Well, not from him. Other people have surmised teachings. Right, so there is a school of Ramana Maharshi. But not from him. Well, and he's the guru. Well, he's not the guru. He said, I'm not the guru. Did he? He's beating you at every turn. He even mentioned not having a door on that hallway. Wow. I, didn't, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm not anyway, sure do this next week. <laughs> I don't know where we're up to. 